Hey, this is Kevin Bees, and we're joined again today by Mina. Hi. For, for tip 24 today of the life-changing business tips. And we're going to do a bit of continuation from yesterday. If you recall, Mina has a uh, successful and growing business. She, at the age of 26, has managed to form a great team, get great funding. She's found a production, uh, someone to produce a production for her. She's got uh, interest from national retailers and, and maybe even international opportunities as well. And so I want to check in with Mina today for another another tip. And we were discussing this and she's got a real pearl to share with us. So uh, Mina, over to you. Tip 24 of the life-changing pearl. business tips. What uh, would you like to share? Thank you, Kevin. Well, we're speaking with Kevin earlier this weekend and one of the key things that has really enabled me to sort of be where I'm at right now is to surrounding myself with people who are way more experienced than I am and really building a team from that perspective of getting people um, to be involved with my company who have twice, like, like just decades and decades of more experience than I do. And I think that's uh, really the way to do it because then you have people who pull you forward, you have people who pull you up. And then uh, that's just the best way to accelerate our growth is always to just surround ourselves with people um, who are way ahead of us because then that really um, uh, makes us kind of, it pushes our mindset to the next level. It pushes our way of thinking, it pushes our way of being it automatically kind of starts to even i think our brain waves and stuff like that if we're just like surrounded by people who think differently we start to more and more expand that way i love it and i think the key word in there is acceleration when you've got someone who has already been on the path that you're going on then they can tell you what to avoid exactly. or really where where to focus the most and i think we were discussing i think one of the biggest benefits i heard from you uh with the first um, first partner that you brought on board or the first and now the co-founder was that he he then was able to bring in other people that he already knew had the experience in the area that they need and I think additionally uh, your speed to get funding sometimes Definitely. small businesses you know the cash the cash flow is is the problem we have a great idea we have a great concept it could be very profitable but if we don't have the cash flow we can't make it happen very fast and i recognize that maybe this is one of the big benefits of getting the right team members definitely and it increases the credibility and before i had my co-founder who has then increased that credibility of the business that then people feel safer uh investing and joining because he had that massive credibility uh having mentors increased my credibility because then people know that you've been taught by people that you have a coach you have that you have within your kind of network and within people who you uh, associate yourself with who you spend time with then they know that that knowledge has been passed down so i think that is definitely been uh it's a key bit to credibility as well which is massive when you're a young starting entrepreneur you gotta find the ways to you know, boost your credibility. And um, I think rightfully so, because also I think having mentors and having coaches and having experienced people, it does um, yeah, make you more credible or knowledgeable or kind of safer in yeah. a way. And it doesn't matter, you said at a young age, I think at any age in business, yeah. you know, it, it can help. Sometimes it just takes a different perspective, a different point of view or someone who has done the thing that you want to do. And I think what I really recognize about Mina, and she's so humble, she hasn't, hasn't really mentioned this, but of course, I think it takes sometimes a lot of courage to accept someone else's opinion or someone else's point of view. And I think it also takes a fair amount of vulnerability to bring someone else into the business because you potentially then lose a little bit of control over the thing that you're doing. But ultimately, I, I guess what it, it's resulted for, uh, particularly for Mina in this example, is yes, she may, uh, by bringing these people in, have a, a lesser share of her business. She doesn't now own 100%, she has a little bit less than that because she brought these people in. It actually means that she's gonna get a, uh, a smaller size of a much bigger pie, yeah. right? And a much faster growing pie, a, a pie that she probably wouldn't have grown that big necessarily without the support of the team. Not at all, not at all. And I think uh, you kind of almost alluded to a point that now it brings to mind is all about also putting our ego aside. So not having to be the one to say, well, I did it all on my own and I own 100% and it's my idea and it's my concept, but really being able to let go that it's not about it being, you know, my business and my idea and my concept. It's actually, you know, what is the business really about? It's about serving the world. It's about, you know, trying to improve the world. It's about trying to improve our lives. It's trying to, you know, having that that bigger conscious and taking ourselves out of the equation 
just I, I have the big belief that, you know, it's just part of it's creating abundance for all. So it doesn't matter if I don't get a hundred percent because, you know, that that the 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 percentages that aren't mine are going to other people. So and which is, you know, I think it's beautiful. There's a, a whole nother tip and philosophy in there <laughs> in abundance thinking over scarcity thinking. And so is wonderful. Mina's actually thinking about not just the results for her, but for her customers, for her, her team and her network now as well. So a uh, key message, surround yourself with people who are better than you, people who've already walked the path, people who have done the very thing that you want to do, and it will speed your, uh, your success and speed you to your results. And I guess one of the questions that uh, we can ask ourselves is like, well, where can we find those people? Who are those people? And start to narrow down well, who would be the, the next person that I would need and in what area um, of expertise would I need, need that in? I think that's good. I think it's so important to ask that question. Yeah, who, who is it? Who's already done the thing that you want to do? Uh, and now, of course, you were able to find yours by going to organize things such as pitch, where you get to pitch your business idea and your business concept. So there are sometimes organized events or organized places where you can connect with people like that. Uh, we mentioned before, and Mina hasn't, I don't think she's seen my previous episodes, and it's great because I've been talking about your network is your net worth, yeah. getting into that environment with those people. So sometimes, particularly if you're in a startup phase, go and pitch to those kind of places and, and who knows who you may meet there or who you may connect with. But definitely find out who's already accomplished the thing that you want to accomplish and go and surround yourself with them, be around them. Okay, really, really great. Thank you, Mina, so much. Really appreciate it. And then we'll Thank be back you. with tip number 25 tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.